Hi, this is Julie with Petty John Quilting and Arts. Let's talk about a couple of different ways to stitch in the ditch. One method is to remove my glide foot, add a sure foot, make sure my ruler base is on, use a ruler, and move my long arm along the ditch to stitch. A second way is to use my Pro Stitcher. I go to Pro Stitcher and I select record. You'll notice over here on the side that I can mark my points by selecting this or I can use my handlebar that has the diamond on it. Now what that means is that every time I put my laser light right where I want it and I try to get it right in to the shadow of the seam and I select with my handlebar this diamond you will hear that little ding and that means that my pro stitcher has marked a point I move it over mark another point I move it over and I want my laser light going right into the ditch another point. Now I'm going extremely slow here just to show you how I'm doing this, but I can take this all the way across my quilt, mark, 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 and make spots. And between every time that I push on my handlebar and you hear ding to the next time I move it and you hear ding, that a straight line has been placed from that dot to the next dot or from that ding sound to the next ding sound. So one really good question is, well, why not just make one mark here, go all the way to the opposite end of my quilt and make a dot there and do the whole straight line. Why am I going mark, 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 mark? Well, the reason being is that if I have a, a dot here, ding, and I make one over here, ding, then it will make a straight line from one point to the next. Well, what if all along here, my fabric isn't quite straight? We know that to our eyes, it looks straight, but it may not be perfectly straight. So that is why if I know that my, that my sash is not real straight, as you can see, as I go over in here, over in here, look right here, I can tell it's going up and back down. All right, it changes just ever so slightly. If I had a mark way at the right side of my quilt and way at the left side of my quilt, it would make it perfectly straight. And there would be spots where that line would get off of this ditch. So I want to make as many marks as I possibly can when I think the direction's changing even just a little bit so that my line will go into the ditch. Let's go back over to the computer and let's look at the screen so far. I'm going to hit my home key. So look at that. That is going down from this point to this point. It's not straight across, it's coming down over towards the left. So my sash is moving a little bit left. So nothing is ever perfectly 100% square or straight. So that's why we want to make as many marks as we see that are necessary. And the more you do that, the more you'll see how, about how many that should be. Now, when we are finished, so let's pretend that we have gone all the way across the quilt. We haven't gone that far yet, but we're going to start it. So what I will do is I will put my, um, my long arm close over here. I will select quilt and run as I normally do proceed it goes down back up I take my bobbin and so instead of watching the screen now we'll watch this play out just as far as I have marked it on the quilt Now look, 
to our eye here, this looks so perfectly straight. Up here, we can tell the line isn't actually plumb, but we want it to go directly onto the quilt, and it did. I want you to not only think of this as marking straight lines, but for doing all of your stitching in the ditch. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to place this here. I've select Pro Stitcher and Record, and I'm going to use the diamond selection on my handlebar to mark every point. I want to get right into the little seam. Sometimes you have to wiggle it and get it going right. There we go. So I'm coming down this short sash. I want to get this little corner right here and then go across. Now I can go up but I'm going to pass this on by and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now I'm going up Now right up here, this has already been stitched, but it's okay, I can stitch over it again. Now I'm going to come back this way. Here's where we passed by before, so this will have already been stitched by this point. I'm going back over it, continue. I'm going to do that same thing all over again. On this area of the sash. It takes a little while to mark the points, but doing this all the way across in the end is so much faster than having to cut the thread every time. So you won't have to watch all of that though. I'm gonna stop right here this time. Now we're going to see how nicely that stitches out. So I'll select quilt, run, and proceed. Now you have a new option for stitching in the ditch using your Pro Stitcher and Mark and Record.